Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're starting a brand new series on the Sly Cooper game. Now this game is pretty old. Um, by far, I'm not the first person to uh, do a Let's Play on this channel. Or, not this channel, well, on this game. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go through all four games, hopefully. Starting with the first one. And uh, yeah, this is like my favorite game ever. My childhood games were the Sly Cooper games. There's also Ratchet and Clank and other stuff, but yeah, we're just gonna start a new game. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. So, yeah. Just get going. Um, I have played this game a lot before, so we're not gonna, not gonna pretend like I don't know how to play the game. So we're just gonna try and play as uh, we go. And I'll just talk. We got, we got a trophy there. Um, so yeah, let's just continue forward. I guess I was gonna say something, but I don't remember what it was. Um, I do want to try to 100% these games, although, oops, oops. Okay, I'm forgetting uh, how different Sly 1 is compared to the rest. Um, oh. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Alright, so I remember what I was going to say. Um, just like uh, Rotwood, I am playing this on a controller. So sometimes you might hear the controller noise. Uh, and that's just, you know, just to let you guys know that's what that's all about. Also, be extra careful here, Sly. Also, we'll probably just do a few missions uh, at a time. Try nice to keep these job. around. You're in. Same time, we uh, do the. Fox's office is behind the red door. Probably the same time we do the Let's Play. Oh, I actually didn't know it was there. I really like the look at this place, though. Pretty nice. These are probably some tiny rooms, though. Doors are right next to each other. Go through here. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Way to go, Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked One, two, into three. the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in nine three seven. Oh no, I was wrong. I thought it was gonna be one, two, three. I'll try not to talk over uh, the cutscenes, or at least when Bentley's talking and all that. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Look how young these guys are. Um, yeah, let's just go. Uh, by no means is this gonna be a speed run of any sorts. I'll do like parts like super quickly, but yeah. criminal. You foolish raccoon! I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. 
Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Uh, what was I gonna say before I got interrupted? Oh, it's I can I actually jump across? I, I could have sworn there was a way you can actually jump like over. Um but yeah, like I was gonna say, no speedrunning stuff here. I'm just gonna play and if I can do things in a shorter amount of time, I'll probably do that. But I'm definitely not gonna pull out any of the uh, speedrun strats that there are. You can't escape me, raccoon! Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Alright, so this is essentially I've already the... plotted a route to our first target. This is essentially the main menu or where we do our level selecting at. Uh, we got this first place here. We can't go to the next place. We got Murray here. Oh, you want? Eating some snacks. One. Does he flick it? I think he flicks. Oh no! I thought I've he was flick it. Okay, Bentley. I get it. I accidentally stopped from recording there, so. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim. He tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Okay, so like I was saying before I got interrupted, um, I accidentally stopped my recording, so now I don't actually know how long we've been uh, recording for. I just sneezed there, sorry about that. 
Hey, Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Cool, so we are going to be collecting all these uh, bottles here. Oh, gosh. Those are inverted. I should fix that. Controls. Um, up is look up. Up is aim up. Jetpack is aim up. Okay, I'm not sure why those were uh, flipped like that. There we go. Cool. So we are going to collect these uh, bottles here. We kind of have to for the now this is very interesting. achievement. The Found appears to be some sort of clue. I'll decipher okay, here. Get there. these. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack this one the code. Another one. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, so let's just continue. Probably do only uh, a couple missions. We got another achievement, pretty nice. Like I said, I wanted to do all the achievements, uh, do 100%, but we might not 100% the first run. Um, so for example, um, when we eventually move on to the second Sly game, I probably won't 100% the first game right away before we go to the second game. I won't gatekeep it like that. So, yeah. I guess I don't know why I had such a hard time explaining that. We'll climb up here, grab this stuff. Hopefully there's a bottle around here now. Oh my god, those are Hold thorns. Up, I was walking in See those searchlights? One careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I could checkpoint your progress. Nice. Cool. Well, let's continue on. Let's try not get caught here. Um, so most of the achievements here for this game are just uh, completing the levels and collecting all the bottles. Um, but there's some bonus stuff where we have to sort of speed run the time, the, the levels. Again, I won't be doing those until after the fact. Well, let's just keep going. Yeah, I love this game. The first one is so... According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. First one is so different. I keep getting interrupted by uh, things here. By uh, these checkpoints. Oh my, I'm dead. I really just died like that? Well, first death of the series, and I did not even mean for that to happen. I was doing everything so well. Like, that was so cool, no? Okay, okay. Let's not just fling ourselves off the map like I did last time. Probably only have enough time to do this, uh,. One level, and then uh, we'll have to call it there for today's episode. As uh, again, I want to keep these same nice length. Nice job as, uh, so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, series. you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. I forget how much of a tutorial to do this for. Right, keep running here. I don't think there's any bottles on this. Unless they're rotating? No? Okay. These. I'm gonna look out for bottles, because. Even, oh, 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 ah, ah. even though I've played this a bunch, I do tend to forget the bottles where they are sometimes. Oh, also, if you're wondering, this is the 
HD collection for the PlayStation 3. I'm not playing the uh, original PlayStation 2 version. So I think if I want to get up there, I have to turn off the cameras first. Or the lights, whatever, cameras, lights. So I can't open that, that just yet. vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Not sure if this is best or not. Again, I'll try not to talk over Bentley and all that. You found it, Sly! That's the final clue to okay. crack the code! Now find Press the circle to enter the vault. Code. Yes, Bentley. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Seven, nine, two. One percent of the way there, guys. Ninety-nine percent. Why you to found go. a page from the Thievius Raccoonus? This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Drake Cooper. Boom, got this move, which is pretty nice. I don't think I use it too often, but it's nice to have, I guess. Onwards. I love how he just throws the keys like that. to the hub area, I guess. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. All right, cool. On to the, uh, this place, I guess. Got a shoe horse here, or a, a lucky horseshoe, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, I almost fell. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Oh, I guess it's a lucky charm. Still, I just realized this, this is a boat, I think, that we're on. Okay, anyway, you I'm really just the game camera using the right analog stick. I wasn't not gonna talk while Raleigh was talking you, there, but fine. Uh, anyways, I think we'll call it here for today's episode. This is the level select area, basically, for the uh, this area. You'll see more of it, I guess, eventually, or see how these uh, levels play out. Um, I do know of a speedrunning strat to get past this first part. We'll see if we can do it here on camera. Um, but basically, I need to get that guy that's up here to uh, shoot me, but I have to basically run away from his bullet, and I believe I have to jump like- oh, I didn't mean to do that. Two keys left to go! I believe I have to jump like here. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. We'll try to do it. If it opens it, if we get it first trying to open it, um, I'm not gonna skip these levels. I just want to see if I can pull it off. Um, because it is speedrunning strat. So we'll go ahead and try that real quick. Go ahead and jump through. And I am going to take damage because of it. So, uh, not much to do about that. 
So, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Yeah, look, I did it. Can I get those coins before they disappear? No, I can't. Uh, but we can go through there. I'm not going to do that, though, as that would be cheating. Um, so, like, I mean, is it really cheating? It's in the game. I don't know what those, uh, I don't know what that really is counted as in speedrunning strats. But anyways, I just wanted to show it off. So yeah, that being said, thanks for watching. That's the first episode of the Sly Cooper series. And, uh, I hope you enjoy the, uh, more to come, I guess. With that being said, thanks for watching, and uh, take care, everyone.